Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the episode number 7 of Digital Titans Season 2. A lot of people have been asking me how is the Season 2 different from Season 1 and while Season 1 has mostly been revolving around the updates of digital marketing and what's new, Season 2 is going to be different in, in a lot of other ways. Season 2 is exclusively directed towards businesses who want to try digital marketing and businesses that are already trying uh, digital marketing for their businesses now this is going to be a, a sharing a channel where we talk about a lot of things which are new in the industry which is similar to season one and along along with that we would also be talking about what are the best practices what are some of the case studies uh, what are my experiences and I'm not here to preach I'm just here to share what I know and in exchange get a lot of your inputs and see where that goes so that's the whole intention of uh, the season two. On that note, let's get started with uh, the top five things digital uh, as, of, as of today. It starts with Google's call only ads, which were specifically designed to generate more phone calls for your business. And there have been a lot of questions and a lot of businesses have been very apprehensive to using these. But let me tell you, in my experience, call only ads really work well if you have a, a quick uh, 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 work really well when your business ne uh, is expecting to receive calls from people. Every business in the world wants to rank at the top on Google while the real business happens when people call you, right? So that's the most, I mean, that's the point of contact. Now, if you really want to do that, Google call only ads is the best way to, to do to achieve that. And call only ads are getting revamped. When I say revamped, Earlier we only see a phone number as the headline, uh, I'm just going to pop it in somewhere here. Now we only used to see a headline that says call and the number and you could have like a description of your business. Now going forward what's going to happen is call only ads will have a headline, in fact two headlines and along with that there's also going to be an increased uh, uh, description from 80 characters to 90 characters. Now you could have two headlines of 30 characters each and you can also have uh, your description go up to 90 characters for call only ads which gives a little more context to what we had earlier update number two for businesses is if you're doing an instagram live for your business which not most of the businesses do because they have either they can't figure out instagram or they assume that instagram is difficult instagram doesn't work for my business guys trust me the whole world is on instagram including my 60 year old grandmother which means Instagram works. It's just that, how do you target these people? What kind of creative you're using? Um, <clears throat> a lot of people say that creative doesn't matter, just the target matters, but creatives really, really, really matter. And it, it, it does half of the job. Now, creatives convey a lot more than uh, what you expect creatives do. So invest time in your creatives and have a concept around your creatives. Keeping that aside, if you do an Instagram live ever, you can also add titles going forward in the form of subtitles and it's really going to get interesting. Update number three, Google's test my site tool is known to everybody who wants to understand how relative, how, how, how fast the website is. Now it, it is adding a lot of new features on the lines of with the Google new test my site tool, you can test your site speed. You can also test your speed of individual pages on your website, not just the root domain. Along with that, you can also see what's the industry standard, how do, where do you rank in terms of uh, the industry standards. You can also do a little bit of analysis of your competitors' websites and where do you stand in that competition. So it's a, it's, it's a whole new game. Now imagine this, if you have your web, uh, phone with you and if you just put in a website or if you just say, uh, let's say, facebook.com and well, what's the maximum uh, time you're going to wait for the page to load? Two seconds, maybe three, maybe four at the max. So site speed is really going to matter and this Google's new test my site tool is really going to help you understand how speed or how fast your website is. Along with that, they will also give you recommendations as to where you can increase the site speed so that people don't have to wait for a long time for their pages to load. Update number four, Facebook is trying or testing a new feature on Messenger where you can segregate your business messages and your personal messages separately and all the business messages will get segregated into one bundle, into one row and it will say business messages and if you really want to uh, check any of your business messages you can just click on that and start looking at those 
while your personal messages from your friends, family, girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife remain intact. This, I think this, this is the icing on the cake and this metric uh, came out as a lot, I mean this update came out as a, lot, uh, as a big shock to a lot of uh, businesses and advertisers. Google Ads, ladies and gentlemen, is planning to kill the average position metric. Are you shocked? Yes, Google is trying to uh, kill the average position metric because Google feels that just a mere uh, number where your ad shows is not going to help you understand things as much compared to what you get out of auction insights, compared to, uh, I mean, they've introduced a bunch of metrics this, uh, this season uh, on the lines of impression share, which is already there, lost impression share, click share. Now, there, there are four new metrics which were launched. So in comparison to those metrics and the context you could uh, get from those metrics, average position doesn't really matter much because you know the position, so what are you going to do next, right? So, I mean, everybody wants to show on the top, but just showing you the mere position of your ad doesn't solve the purpose. While they have introduced a set of four new metrics which give you a lot of context as to where your ad shows, why is it showing there, who are your competitors, and, and things like that, average position doesn't matter much is what Google says, not me. So on that note, Google is trying to kill, or sunset, as, as Google calls it, uh, the feature, uh, the, the metric called average position later this year. So be prepared and step up your game accordingly. All right, so that's the top five of digital marketing today. So stay tuned for the next episode. Until then, this is Casey signing off. As usual, please subscribe to this channel. If you have not already done that, I need your love and support. Thank you so much, guys. This is Casey signing off. See you again. Cheers.